Hey YouTube, it's Reesh Shin. Please like, subscribe, share, comment on my videos, and please don't forget to click the notification bell. So let's talk about the Spired series. So again, each word represents, or excuse me, each letter represents a word in your crown. The crown is how you feel about yourself, how you see yourself. Each word that represents a point in your crown is to represent a visualized a visualized idea of who you are. You create the narrative. You create the narrative the world sees of you. This is not a lie. This is not something we're going to make up. No. This is how you need to feel about yourself. You need to feel empowered. You need to feel that you're worthy. Other people outside of you cannot help you in that regard. Only you set the tone and pace for that. So the first letter we're going to concentrate on is how I, the, the letter I feel is should be the very highest pinnacle or the highest point on your crown and that's S. So S can stand for any S word that you choose that's an empowering word. The word I'm going to choose that stand that um, starts with the letter S is stand. I chose stand because of what to me it represents as far as boundaries. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up even to yourself. You have some negative talk. You have to talk yourself out of that. That is That takes a lot of courage even though it's internal. You're having to fight negative stereotypes or negative thoughts that were perpetrated or given to you that were not true. They were lies. And you have to rearrange or you have to reprogram your brain to think better about yourself. That is an arduous task. You also have to, in standing up to yourself, you have to stand up for yourself and use the power of the word no. No is a very powerful word that it just is meant to be only a word that is made up of two letters in O. To tell someone no is a powerful act. And to feel empowered to say no, and you don't have to be mean when you say no. You can be nice and still say no. We're not taught that, and it's not something that comes through osmosis. You have to learn it and be willing to learn it and not beat yourself up as you learn the power of no. So, as I always do with books, I give you my lesson I've learned through the book. And then I share with you what I see in those YouTube streets. So, the biggest lesson I've learned in being able to stand up for myself was against my uh, ex-husband. So, he was violent and was often very um, manipulative. But he was also unfaithful very unfaithful so one day we got into an argument and he left and I had to work at night and he didn't work that day and he was supposed to come home and take care of my then two-year-old daughter and um, he didn't he didn't come home and my sixth sense told me what I needed to do that he was going to come home with another female 
and I needed to be prepared for that. So I took my daughter to my mom's, got the, the apartment all cleaned up, waited till I heard him drive up, and I hid in my daughter's room. I waited till he and his company, because I could hear that he had someone in the house, got real comfortable. And when I heard him talking as he was on top of her, he said, so tell me about me. And I got out and I was like, yeah, tell him about it. Walked around the corner and said, yeah, tell him about him. And the look on that girl's face, and she was 17 at 14. We were in our 20s. He got, he looked and was like, oh, snap. He really misunderstood his, the situation. Now, as he's, you know, trying to tell me, I mean, I'm used, when I say uh, that to me, that was a situation where I used the power of no, I had, I'm not putting up with this. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. power of no. No. When I think back on those times, I think about all the lessons I learned from him. I learned quite a bit. And he, um, because of his behavior, I learned that no was a, a friend of mine. No was a good friend. And so I continue to harness the power of no and learn to say it in a nice way and mean it. When you use the power of no, you're standing up for yourself. Now, another, to use um, the same lesson in those YouTube streets and, and what I see in those YouTube streets. So I know everyone has seen a lot of people, I won't say everyone, but I, I don't know how many people have seen it. But where Jaded Nerd came out and exposed or got in front of someone threatening to expose his health, current health situation. Current health situation, excuse me. And he said in tears that he just, he was taking some advice from Funky Not Even and said to get in front of this. He stood up for himself against a person who is, let me just say, that this person, the same day Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed, had her wife pretend like she had killed herself only to find out within hours that it was not true. And so many people were upset. T.S. Madison was upset. T.S. Madison's mom, Miss Mary, was upset. There were people I uh, read on the, or watched their YouTube videos who said they were like distraught over this like they were totally they cried the whole nine yards only to find out that person had lied it was all for whatever reasons a lot of people think it was for attention I think it was as well this is the same person who did that it's the same person that threatened to expose jaded nerds health condition now He used the power of no. No, he wasn't going to take it. No, he was not going to stand for that. He stood up for himself. So he used S in his crown. He stood up for himself, got in front of it, and was shocked and, admit and amazed at the outpouring of love and support that he is currently getting. 
I don't know if this person is still me that I, I went and looked at their page and they they have some videos up and there's a lot of people that back that person still and it's like I'm not sure what that's all about but once you expose yourself to me to be that crappy of a person I, there's no more there's no more talking I don't why would I want you around me why would I listen to anything you say that person still has a huge following it's amazing to me it is amazing Jaded Nerd now is got more way more followers as well but he didn't have to manipulate anyone I mean there's way more to that story there's stuff coming out about that particular person about scamming $8,000 from another person another person that's on YouTube um, when it came out that that person hadn't killed themselves they scolded the people that followed them for believing it, it was, it's very very it's, it's beyond messy it's pathological Jaded Nerd used his power of no. He stood up for himself. He stood up for himself. There's a saying from um, Stephen King's book, The Stand, and it may be biblical. I don't I don't remember seeing it, but it's possible that it's biblical. But the stand it says, stand and be true. And that is why today's letter Monamis is S for stand.